Sam here from Webkin Tempo. A couple weeks ago, I showed you guys a preview of my new homepage for my website, and one of the features on it was an animated background section from Divi. Now, if you've been following me at all, you probably know already that I just love these Divi background sections. I'm always trying to find new and cool ways to use them, and one of the coolest things that I incorporated into my new site is we have animated some of the background sections to give it even more of a cool effect. So. Oh, this works really good with like waves and stuff like that. Uh, it just gives it a little extra wow factor. Uh, all different kind of ways you can apply this. Anyway, the good thing about this is it really only takes a couple clicks, and I'm going to share with you the CSS you need to plug into your site uh, so you can get this up and running on your site super quickly and um, figure out your own cool ways to customize it because I'm sure that you'll probably come up with all kinds of crazy ideas that I never would have thought of. So, anyway. I'm going to hop right into it. I'm going to show you how to set this up in just a couple of minutes, and you guys are going to be off to the races. So let's go. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, we are going to dive right into it here. So this is my website. I showed you guys this a couple weeks ago. It's a new design we made, and right here is where you're going to see we've got this cool animated background section. So this is just the regular Divi background section that you can set up, and we've just added some CSS code to it to make it animate. So we're going to dive right in, and I'm going to show you how you can set this up in just a couple minutes. Uh, the first thing is I'm going to pull up the code here. This is in Dreamweaver. You don't have to open this in Dreamweaver. You can use whatever you want. You can basically just copy and paste this right into your site. Uh, most of the stuff you don't even need to mess with at all. The main thing you might want to change here is uh, where you see 150S. That's the speed of the slider. So if you wanted to slow it down, you'd make that a lower number. If you wanted to speed it up, you'd make it a higher number. Other than that, there's not much else you would want to change. If for some reason you already have an animation named scroll on your site, then you would want to change um, pretty much every instance where it says scroll here to some other random word, and then it would probably work fine for you. But otherwise, you should be able to just copy or paste this right into your CSS. So um, I just went into my theme options page on this test site I set up and copy pasted it right in here. You could also copy or paste it right into the page if you go in here. There's custom CSS section. If you do it that way, it's only going to work on that page. So up to you however you want to do that. It, you could put it right in the CSS file for your theme too if you're comfortable doing that or um, use a CSS plugin. So it really just depends wherever you want to put that. Um, I'll just go ahead and do that. Now, uh, basically all we need to do is add any uh, regular mod section module, which would have the divider feature. And then I've gone ahead and added one here, and I just put in a background of some water. And um, as you can see, I didn't really customize anything else other than we added the dividers. So you can use whatever kind of divider you want. I'm going to show you a little bit more of that on the front end view. Um, and then in the advanced tab, you'll see I put the CSS ID BG animate top. You want to use this or bottom, depending on whether you want to animate the top or the bottom. So that's totally up to you. Um, I put top for this one. So you want to save and if you view it on the front, you're going to get a result that looks like this. So let me, um, let me discard my changes here. Okay. So this is, uh, as you can see, we've got the animated background header here. And um, we didn't really have to do anything other than just add a little bit of CSS. And then we can play with it from there. So I'm going to pull this up in Visual Editor so we can look at it a little bit closer. Now. Oops. Okay. Here it is in Visual Editor. So we're going to open this up right here. And then um, I'm just going to show you. This does work with other dividers, obviously. Um, this one is just kind of a wavy one. This one right here is my favorite one. I really like this one. Uh, but you could also use, you know, the triangle one. It's kind of interesting. And um, one of the things you can do is play around with these two. You can change the height, you know, um, just the way you normally would. You can do something like that with the repeat. Um, if you did this on, like, this one, for example, and then put the height way down, you see you get kind of a cool um, smaller wave effect. Uh, you know, there's, this, there's pretty much unlimited kind of thing. 